I moved to France because I wanted to experience a new culture. I wanted to learn the French language and I wanted to be in a place that felt really good where I could feel free to be my authentic self. And I got all of that. And then some. In this video, I'm going to share with you nine things that I can do here in France that I couldn't do in the United States. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new here, welcome. And if you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell so that each time I upload a video about life in France, moving abroad, or finding the confidence and courage to live life on your terms, you'll be notified. I'm Patricia Brooks. And in 2018, I left Richmond, Virginia, and I moved to the south of France. I took the big leap, and it was scary, but it is so worth it. And today I'm going to share with you nine things that are the icing on the cake for me. All right. So first one is every Saturday morning, I can leave my apartment and within three minutes by foot, I can be at this amazing market with over 170 vendors and I can buy French soap. I can buy scarves. I can buy olives. I can buy strawberries or cheese wine or beer or chocolate. They even have prepared food that smells so delicious. I can buy paella or Asian cuisine. And when I walk by the spice that stand, that, that those smells, those aromas just invigorate me. It's a whole century experience because you've got, you hear the French being spoken, you hear the Barker saying, you know, calling you over to their stands, you're in a crowd and you're jostling about, which did take some getting used to for me. <laughs> but um, this is something I never experienced or could never experience in the United States. So that's number one. Number two is very much related to this. And that is I can go into town and I can get the freshest and best foods at specialty shops. They just opened a fish shop not too far from my apartment. If I want um, cheese, I can go to the cheese shop. I want the best breads, I can go to the bakery. I want a cut of meat, I can go to the butcher shop. And in the United States, while you can get all of these things under one roof, typically, the fact that it's not specialty, I think that the quality uh, can sometimes suffer. Uh, so that's something I can do here in France that I can't do in the United States. All right. Now, still with the shopping theme, I can go in to a boutique here in France and be greeted with a hearty bonjour and start to banter in French with the salesperson. And that feels incredible. To me, I used to do this all of the time when I was really just new here and I wanted to practice my French. And I still do this from time to time. The other day I needed a watch battery. And so I went to a jewelry store in town and as the woman was changing my watch battery out, I noticed that they had these whimsical piggy banks in different, in different shapes. Like one was a mouse, another one was a bull and they were brightly painted. And I pointed to one and asked her, you know, what the word for piggy bank was in French. And she said, tirelire. And so here I'm learning a new word. And I had to ask her, is it un tirelire or une tirelire? And she said une, right? Because I needed to know if it was masculine or feminine. And then she asked me where I was from. She told me a little bit about the artist who made those piggy banks. And it was a nice exchange. Now I can go into a boutique in Richmond, Virginia, and I can have a nice exchange with the clerk, but it's not going to be in French. And so it doesn't really have that same feeling to me, right? It, that's something that is just unique to being able to do that. Number four is that I can get into my car and be in Spain in about 20 minutes. Yes, Spain, the country. Now I am that close. Now, and I hope to be able to one day go into boutiques there and banter in Spanish with the sales clerks uh, because I, uh, a couple of months ago, started to learn Spanish. So that is a goal of mine as well, because I know that that's going to feel just as good as speaking French in French stores. 
So I love living here in France because I get to explore and learn a new culture and just, just have these really amazing experiences. But France is a pretty big country. So there are places in France that I haven't been to yet that I want to go to and I want to explore. And you know what? I still can by watching French Channel. French Channel is the number one streaming platform for content dedicated to France and French culture. It has the largest library of French TV shows, series, programming for children, live international news and documentaries that help you to explore through cuisine, art, history, fashion, and travel. I recently watched a documentary about Coulior. Now, this is a seaside village, a beautiful seaside village that drew a lot of artists because of, of how beautiful it is there. And I've been there several times. And I watched this documentary and I learned so much about the history of this place that I'd seen, like I said, several times. That's the beauty of being able to watch shows like this on France Channel. Now, it's accessible to an English-speaking audience through English and French subtitles. And the best part of this is that the folks at French Channel have been so generous as to provide you, my viewers, a 15% discount on a yearly or monthly subscription. And I'm going to put a link to that promo code in the description of this video, along with a link to French Channel so you can check it out yourself and take advantage of this wonderful offer. All right. So I love exploring in person. I love exploring by watching. Thing number five that I can't do in the United States, but I can do here in France is I can go sit on a terrace of a cafe where Picasso and his friends hung out. And I have, and it's to sit there and to think that Picasso, this amazing artist, was right here is an incredible thought. I also get to pass by the house that Picasso stayed in when he was in town. Picasso and Brock, another artist, stayed in. And I was passing by this house every single day for about a year and a half before I realized that that was the case, that that history took place right there. It wasn't until I took a tour of the village and the tour guide said, oh, you see that house over there? Yeah, that's where Picasso stayed. I'm like, no, no. Another thing I can do here in France, but not in the United States, is I can walk out my front door and see a snail slithering along on the sidewalk. Now, where I come from, I've never seen a snail. I've had the displeasure of seeing slugs in the backyard of the home I grew up in in Willingboro, New Jersey. But a slug is not a snail because it doesn't have the beautiful shell, right? So that is something I can do here in France, but not in the United States. I can go five minutes. I can walk five minutes from my house and be in a place where I can pick figs from a tree or cherries from a tree and eat them. Now, I know in the United States, you could, there, there are fruit trees and this is possible. But where I was living, it really wasn't possible for me. The closest thing I could do would get in the car, drive an hour to Charlottesville, Virginia, uh, pay to go to an apple orchard and pick apples from the trees there. And while that's an experience, it's a very different experience just to, to be out in nature and have this enjoyable benefit. So that's something else I can do here in France. I can navigate French online dating. Now, I started this way back in 2018, and it was daunting. Online dating is daunting anyway. But then to, to do it in a foreign language, setting up a profile, uh, responding to messages, going on dates and speaking French, oh, it was overwhelming, but I was motivated, right? And so I did it. And it was a really good experience because it really has helped improve my French a, a whole lot in terms of writing. Now, uh, my profile setup is so much easier responding to messages. I don't have to put it through a translator to make sure it makes sense. I'm pretty confident in that. And going on dates now is much 
less stressful, I have to say. So, and I've dated guys, French guys, of course, but I dated a guy from Senegal, a guy from the Netherlands, a guy from the UK. And I'm not saying that I couldn't have that experience in the United States, but I think it would be less likely for me in the town that I was living in to have that experience, right? So navigating French online dating. And finally, last week was Victory Day, and I went to a commemorative service, and I heard um, Omor, which is the French equivalent to TAPS, being played, and that was a very moving uh, tribute. But also seeing family members who had lost loved ones in the military place flowers on the Monument to the Dead was moving as well. And so that is something that I could not do in the United States. Next month, I hope to visit Omaha Beach in Normandy, and I anticipate that being a pretty moving experience as well. Another thing that I wouldn't be able to do in the United States. So while the United States has lots of things that you can do there and you can't do in France, this video is all about the bonuses that I experience by living here in France and having taken that chance on myself to make this incredible change in my life. Now, if you are considering making a move abroad but are overwhelmed by all that needs to be done or maybe don't want to do it all by yourself, then I'd love to have a conversation to see where you are, what you're looking for, where you might be stuck, and if I can help you to make the move more easily. So I'm going to put a link to my calendar in the description where you can find time for us to talk, and I look forward to that. That is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it with friends, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you again next time. Bye for now.